with Glover Teixeira in a last minute submission and became the new light heavyweight champion. Yuri then got hurt in a terrible shoulder injury before their rematch and chose to vacate the belt. Jan Blahovic and Magomed Ankalaev then had a boring fight and ended that fight in a draw. In the same night, Dana White set up Glover Teixeira vs Jamal Hill for the light heavyweight belt. Jamal as the new light heavyweight champion. And that was the first time Jamal Hill and Alex Pereira's paths crossed since Alex was actually in the corner of Glover Teixeira that night. Fast forward to about a year later, Jamal Hill got hurt and had an Achilles injury and also chose to vacate the belt, which led to the fight between Yuri and Alex. The fight ended with Alex knocking Yuri out, crowning Alex as the light heavyweight champion and becoming a UFC 2 division champion. Fast forward 6 months later and now Alex is set to make his first defense against Jamal Hill at UFC 300 on April 13th. Jamal Sweet Dreams Hill is a knockout artist who has put 98% of his opponents to sleep in the UFC. Alex Pereira is also a knockout artist who has put 98% of his opponents to sleep. One could argue that Alex may just be more experienced as a fighter and has more accolades than Jamal. But the main question is can Alex Pereira's chin handle Jamal Hill's sniping and powerful shots or can Jamal's legs handle Alex's dreadful kicks since he may just be coming back too soon from such a terrible injury. With that being said, let's see how this fight goes. Alex Pereira has a background in kickboxing and Muay Thai. His fighting style primarily revolves around his exceptional striking abilities. Pereira is a renowned artist for his devastating kicks, powerful punches, and precise timing. He utilizes a technical approach to striking, often employing combinations of punches, kicks, elbows, and knees to overwhelm his opponents. Pereira is particularly known for his powerful punches, especially with his left hook, which has led to numerous knockout victories throughout his career. He also demonstrates solid defensive skills, utilizing head movements and footwork to evade strikes while maintaining his offense pressure. Pereira's Muay Thai background provides him with a diverse array of striking techniques including clinch work, devastating elbow strikes. Overall, his fighting style is characterized by aggressive yet calculated striking, making him a formidable opponent in the stand-up game. Jamal Hill primarily employs a striking based fighting style with a focus on kickboxing and boxing techniques. He possesses a background in kickboxing and brings his expertise in striking when he steps into the octagon. Hill is known for his powerful punches, particularly his devastating left hook, which has been a significant weapon in his arsenal. Additionally, he utilizes good footwork and head movement to evade strikes and create angles for his attacks. His style often involves keeping the fight standing where he can utilize his striking skills and overwhelm opponents. Alex Pereira and Jamal Hill actually have similar backgrounds and similar fighting skills. Now when it comes to that knockout power, none of them are lacking in that. But again, in my opinion, I don't think Alex Pereira's chin is ready for Jamal Hill's shots. But one could also say Jamal Hill might just be stepping in too early after the injury because Alex Pereira has some devastating leg kicks man. Those leg kicks were the serious problems that put Izzy in the position that made him lose their first fight and he actually put him into a serious issue in their second fight before Izzy made the trick where he played possum and then ended up knocking Alex out. Look. Yuri Prohashka fought Glover Teixeira and one could argue that Glover was winning that match before the last minute submission, right? It was a war. 
But then Jamal Hill bit the hell out of Glover Teixeira. I don't even remember Glover winning any round in that fight. And then in the other hand, Alex knocked Yuri out. But before that, he did receive some shots that made him a little shaky. In both the fights in MMA between Izzy and Alex Pereira, Izzy landed terrible shots that literally wobbled Alex. And if those type of shots could make him shake, can you imagine what would happen if Jamal Hill landed a clean shot on Alex Pereira? The man has literally knocked out almost everybody that he's faced in the UFC. He has always been an underdog in his fights, but ends up knocking them out. But those leg kicks are dangerous for someone who just hurt himself and had an Achilles injury. Man, this one is a tough one, but I'm going to go with Jamal Hill by a knockout, either in the first or second round, honestly. But if he's not able to pull that off early or later in the fight, Alex Pereira is certainly going to destroy him. I don't know if Alex Pereira is going to knock Jamal Hill out. I've never seen Jamal Hill being knocked out. I don't know if he's ever been knocked out, but I do believe Alex Pereira can knock anybody out with that left hook. Man, this is going to be a good one. Dana White definitely hyped up UFC 300 for something else that was some type of super fight. This is absolutely not a super fight, but it's going to be a fantastic fight. Let me know in the comments who you guys think is going to win this, Jamal Hill or Alex Pereira. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.